Welcome back everyone. In this part of the series of my inn slash pub, I'm kind of in the between phase of building and painting. You can see here that I've had to recover part of one of the tiles and foam because I royally messed up. I had put down a layer of the secret sauce thinking that it was thick enough and that I had covered it well enough. But when I went to put a base coat of brown spray paint, the propellant in the spray paint began to eat the foam underneath. I had worked through about four tiles when I realized what it was doing, so I had to adjust. I reached out to a foam building Facebook group and one of the best suggestions was to cut a thin piece of foam and lay it on top of the damaged area. This technique wasn't perfect, but it worked well enough to cover my mistakes, and you can barely notice the difference. Guess we learned how to do split screen. Even with this setback, I feel I'm going to progress. I plan on doing a series of videos showing how to properly spray paint, how to properly cover in Mod Podge, and how to fix things when you've damaged them with said spray paint and lack of Mod Podge. I know he doesn't need any more views, but Jeremy at Black Magic Craft has a good video on how to properly use spray paint with foam. So go check out his excellent work in the link in the corner quick shot of all of my work so far. This is all 10 tiles painted and mod podged. Here I'm putting down a sloppy coat of gray over the outside bricks. My thinking was that if I painted them all gray first and then put down the brown sculpt mold, it'd be much easier than trying to paint gray around the sculpt mold. When I get to the painting part of the project, I will go in and paint individual bricks different colors of gray, possibly brown, possibly red, and when a dry brush and wash gets put over them, they blend together and look cohesive like they've always been there together. Speaking of sculpt mold, this stuff's great. I mix in two parts sculpt mold to one part water. Add a little bit of brown paint and mix. The brown paint is added so that if something flakes off or gets damaged, it's not as obvious and you don't have white specks underneath. I ended up adding a little bit of dirty paint water just to make it thinner and easier to spread around the base. Sculpt mold is added to create a ground texture. I've seen other Crafters put all sorts of additives, sand, dirt, little pebbles inside. I focused on making sure that the sculpt mold went right up to the edge of the bricks and the ground. Eventually I will put rocks in and tufts, maybe a little bit of flocking to simulate moss. At this stage it's pretty ugly and sloppy, but after drying for about 15 minutes, I take a wet finger and smooth it out to get rid of all the spikes. It makes very easy and cheap ground cover, and that's the best way I've found to cover lots of space quickly and easily. I think in the future I'll have to start making these videos shorter and combining them. I find myself running out of things to say and can't keep describing me squishing mud around over and over again. That doesn't make it for exciting YouTube content. Eventually I'll figure out my rhythm and what makes for the best type of crafting videos. Here's where I headbutt the camera. I left it in because it's kind of funny. As the video ends, I want to once again thank all those who have liked, subscribed to my channel and supported me. I greatly appreciate all of you. Thanks.